Hello and welcome to a Zero Harm tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at hazardous substances. Hazardous substances is an important area which shows you all of your farm's hazardous substances. Um, this can be really useful for emergency services and just keeping track of what you have on site. Hazardous substances can be accessed by logging into your account at zeroharm.app and clicking hazardous substances on the left hand menu. Because I have not yet assigned any hazardous substances, the dashboard mentions that I still need to complete this. Um, if I do click add substance, we'll be given the option to add our first hazardous substance. Now, Zero Harm doesn't contain a full database or list of hazardous substances uh, simply because there are just far too many. Thankfully, it's really easy to add the uh, hazardous substance of your choosing. Um, in this example, we will choose petrol. Um, uh, fill out the chemical and trade name. Um, it's also a good idea to um, fill out the maximum stored value. Again, this is really important if emergency services um, do turn up, they'll be able to see exactly um, the quantities you have on site. Um, with every hazardous substance, we will need to upload a material safety data sheet. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, you may already have them um, stored on your machine. Um, if you don't, uh, the best thing to do is just to simply visit google.com or your search engine of your choice and type in the chemical name, in this case petrol, and MSDS or alternatively material safety data sheet um, and click enter. What this will do, it will bring up um, the search queries naturally for the uh, material safety data sheets uh, for this chemical. Um, usually, uh, depending on the search engine you use, um, it can usually be the top one or, or, or several. Um, and we can usually jump straight to the PDF um, as there is this PDF tag just next to the link. Um, in this situation, ours is the top one. Um, so we can um, uh, we can download this directly to our desktop um, or somewhere convenient. I will save mine to the desktop. It's always a good idea just to name the material safety data sheet. Um, now, if we jump to uh, browse files. Uh, we can actually just upload this directly and once it's finalized um, we can simply click create. Excellent. Um, as you progress uh, you'll add more um, chemicals and hazardous substances to the list. Um, sometimes you'll find that you run out of hazardous substance um, or you need to update it, um, both of which are accessible from this area. So we also have this tag here saying present or absent. So maybe we run out of a chemical or it expires. Um, we can simply just click this and toggle between absent and present. And what that will do is it will just uh, be publicly available to the contractors or emergency services. Um, obviously, if you have the chemical, please ensure this is on uh, present and vice versa. If it's not, please disable it. Uh, naturally, we can also edit um, the, sub uh, the substance as well. If we made a mistake, for example, in the trade name, uh, we can update this. We can also replace or update any files we need as well. We hope this video has helped. Um, if you require any assistance, uh, as always, please contact support at zeroharm.app and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you at the next video.